there's an amazing shift. You obviously are very much at the forefront of part of that shift. There seems to be a lot of uh, anger in that shift, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. And why why is the shift taking place? And where where is what what you're doing taking Afrikaans culture to? Um, I think it's it's not that much about a like a, it is angry kind of in a way, but it's more of a just a shift, like taking it away from 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 the old sense of the word, and like because that kind of is killing Afrikaans. Like people were saying that Afrikaans is a dying language and stuff, and and like a lot of like big Afrikaans people were saying that, and like and we were just like, and then I was like, fuck. Then I, if it's they say it's dying, then I'll just take it and I'll I'll make it alive, and then it's now it belongs to me. So Afrikaans belongs to me now pretty much so I'm gonna remake it like cool so we're working on that and then we get we got like a five-step plan for it <laughs> like an action a strategy yeah a strategy like it's been strategized I've spoken to some ad agencies and we're doing well so far how's yeah. life different on the other side of the curtain it's much less pretentious and it's much more fun okay <laughs> it's much more Afrikaans much more brawing much more brandy drinking yeah now, it's not actually Afrikaans really I think it's just a uh, it's English and Afrikaans it's like a it's just a it's an unpretentious side of the world but uh, also the southern South also has good people it's just like a kind of a joke in a way when I was younger they used to give us a lot of shit and stuff for being from that side of the world and having like CY number plates and stuff yeah. so that's kind of where the Buddha thing started like people were like they're from behind the Buddha or whatever